Good morning. It's Wednesday, June 10th, and you're watching Chinese Stocks TV here on Chinasecurities.com. My name is Jim Heron. I'll be your host for today. Uh, we have one story for you today. It comes from eFuture uh, Information Technology. They trade under the NASDAQ symbol of EFUT. They're announcing their first quarter 2009 unaudited financial results. Uh, their total uh, revenues were basically flat year over year at $2 million. However, their service free income increased 51.3% year over year as a percentage of revenue and continued to increase and account for 54.6% of total revenue in the first quarter of 2009 as compared to 28% in the same period earlier, signifying that efforts to mitigate, uh, to migrate uh, revenue uh, seasonally through the company's new business models are successfully gaining momentum. Their gross profit increased 5.7% to $700 million U.S., and their gross margin increased 35.7% from 33.6% in the first quarter of 2008. Their net loss improved 28.4% year over year to $1 million from approximately $1.395 million loss in the first quarter of last year. As of March 31st, they had about $6.2 million U.S. Um, in cash and cash equivalents. Their 2009 outlook and guidance, uh, as of March 31st, they have unrecognized revenue base of approximately $9.2 million U.S., of which 90% is expected to be rec uh, recognized within 2009. And uh, their 2009 revenue guidance is uh, going to be in the range of 28 to 29 million dollars, representing an annual growth of 38 to 40 percent over 2008 total revenues. Uh, e future again trades on the Nasdaq on the symbol EFUT. They last trade at thirteen dollars and twenty eight cents. Their fifty two week high and low fifteen dollars and forty four cents to two dollars and fifty one cents. They have a market cap of thirty eight point eight four million dollars. They are a leading provider of software and services in China's rapidly growing retail and consumer goods industries. Uh, so please check out e future on Chinasecurities.com. Those are that's our own story for you today. Please join us again tomorrow for some more great Chinese news.